You know, the term friend gets thrown around so often that you'd think it just meant people. When we first bring this whole topic up, the first thing is Facebook, right? When I'm going to start right in bitching about Facebook. Why not? <laughs> because Facebook allows you to friend people, right? But what does that mean? It means that you're just allowing them further access to your page in reality. That's it. You're allowing them to communicate with you more. But I think this is a good reflector of how the term friend itself has lost most of the weight that it used to have, wherein now we're calling people friends that we just get along with. And while that's not a bad thing that we get along with people, but it's not the same as being a friend. That's the important thing. There is a distinction between a good acquaintance and a friend. A friend isn't somebody you talk to once in a while, or even every day, as long as it's just shallow conversation. You can talk to a coworker every day for years, and he's not really ever your friend. You're just, you get along with him. And that's great, right? You get along with people. It's good. But again, that's not a friend. A friend is somebody that is a bit more than just somebody you talk to, somebody you just check out their links on Facebook, or somebody you just meet up with. And a neat point here that goes along with everything is that, according to a very recent survey, Americans feel more alone than ever, right? At least until, at least since they've been doing these sorts of surveys, Americans feel more alone than ever. And I think, if I had to put on my thinking cap, right, getting somewhere, that we don't know how to gauge our social statuses anymore, that we don't understand the divisions between the types of people we are with. Like, they're all friends now. They're all, like, lumped into this one general sum category that detracts, actually, from the closeness of a true friendship. In the end, because what you have happen is all these people are your friends, right? All these different people you talk to and they're friends and everything, but then all of them are kept at a bit of a distance then because they're not that kind of person that you truly deeply connect with. You're not giving them the chance to be really a friend because you're throwing them in the cloud of friends that you have following you. And that's quite a tragedy, quite honestly. It's, it's terrible because if you don't want to feel alone, one of the best ways to get rid of that feeling is to find a true friend. And that's somebody who talks to you for more than five minutes or likes your links or checks your page out or anything. No, it's someone who sits down and they talk to you about real things in your life. Or they talk to you about real things in their life. You help each other out. You sit down and you actually have a connection. It's hard in a way to explain. You really know a friend when you meet them and you talk to them and it happens and you open up and these things are allowed to occur. You find that friends happen, really. You'll find them, you'll meet them, and they will be a part of your life that's great. But so many people now consider what being a friend is to be being an acquaintance. Oh, I talk to them, we don't fight, and we talk about funny things and stuff, and yeah, we're friends. You're not. That's not a conversation of substance. It's not deep. It's not meaningful in the same way that alleviates loneliness, where you've shared a bit of yourself with another person. In a way, a friendship is almost like a romantic relationship that has taken a slightly different turn. There's a closeness that is much like a romantic relationship in a way, a sharing and a trusting that occurs just without the extra elements of that romanticness. And in that sense, I think that people have friends, and then they have their loves, but people are afraid to love their friends. It all ties together into this one point that people are feeling alone a lot. People are feeling like they don't connect to other people in the same way. And I think one of the biggest parts of that is that we a lot of us don't seem to understand the, how to really have a friend versus how to a, acquaint yourself with people. You have to be willing to trust and you have to be willing to go further than just talk to them on the internet or talk to them just on Facebook or something. This person has to be a part of your life and not your online life, your real life too. 
You can have online friends, but understand that that is different than having a right there personal friend. And perhaps this has been a bit meandering, but that's because the topic of friendship itself is a nebulous thing. I can't give you a one-size-fits-all direction for this is a friend versus this is not beyond that point of connection and closeness. Because friendships are different for every person, and the topic of friendship is different for every situation. You need to find what works for you in the moment. What is your definition of a real friendship? where you share and connect, what are you willing to share and connect? What are you willing to expect from the other person? There's so many things that go into it. But the final point that I can leave you with here is that what doesn't go into it is just what you find on Facebook friends. Just something to think about.